Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. In this lecture, we will understand set comparison in SQL. Okay, so as name suggests, we have set of some element. Let's say value one, value two, and so on. And we have to compare this. Okay, we have to compare this with the result. Fine. So we have some uh, statement here, and we have comparison operator to compare the values in this set fine so in this case we use set comparison operator things will be more clear just now so what are the set comparison operators we have so we have three set comparison operators to learn here first one is in second one is any and third one is all okay so these three we will be learning so let's understand in first I mean just for example one simple example can be list down the name of employee name of employee having some salary it let's say 3000 or 4000 or 5000 something like this this is just an example with no use case I mean, I mean there may exist a use case but still we don't have so we just want to list down the name of employee having salary 3000 or 4000 or 5000 right so one simple thing we can do is we can compare salary okay is equal to 3000 or we can use or right or salary equal to 4000 or salary equal to 5000 right but let's say we have here 400 values and these 400 we are not writing basically these 400 values are also the output of some sub query we have already understand sub query right so in that case what we will do okay so we now we have to write this kind of 400 statement if we want to use this or right so in that case what we will use we will use this in operator okay and we will write select I'm writing it in short select employee name so select name from employee name from employee table okay where where salary in and then all these values okay so what it will do if this salary okay if salary exist I mean for a particular tuple I mean it's like one by one for each tuple it will be executed right and if salary is matching to any of the value in this set then it will be returned as true right and that tuple or that employee name will be printed as output fine so this is the use case of in similarly we can use any and all so let's list down the formal definition of in and in any and all that when do we use these comparison operators so we have in operator okay in compares I mean in just check the equality okay so this equality you can see it's like embedded in this operator in okay embedded with the operator in fine so it checks whether the value is equal to any member okay any member in the list fine and we have already talked about that this list can be a list provided by the user who is writing the this query or it can be also a output of some sub query okay now any and all we have here one thing common and that is this again works with some operator okay so it will compare and these comparison can be greater than less than or equal to right it's again can be greater than less than or equal to fine so here we don't here we need not to write any comparison operator like this greater than less than or equal to because equal is embedded in this but with any and all we need to write greater than less than or equal to sign okay now this any will work with each value 
ओके इट विल कंपेयर ईच वैल्यू फाइन सो वन बाय वन इट विल कंपेयर ईच वैल्यू एंड विल सी वेन इट इज रिटर्निंग ट्रू ओके वंस इट रिटर्न ट्रू इट वोंट एग्जीक्यूट फर्दर वाइल इन दिस केस इन केस ऑफ ऑल इट विल कंपेयर विथ एवरी वैल्यू ओके सो दिस इज द की वर्ड यू शुड रिमेंबर सो एनी वर्कस विथ ईच वैल्यू एंड ऑल वर्कस विथ एवरी वैल्यू ओके सो वेन आई एम सेंग वेन आई एम सेंग सैलरी ग्रेटर दैन एनी ऑफ सम वैल्यू राइट एंड वॉट डज इट मीन इट मीन्स दैट दिस सैलरी कैन बी ग्रेटर दैन एनी ऑफ द वैल्यू राइट In contrast, when I'm saying salary greater than all, all of this, some values are given, then in that case, what we are looking for is a salary which is greater than all these values. Okay. Simply, we are looking for a salary which is greater than the maximum. Okay. So we are looking for maximum salary. So now you can understand the difference. So let's write down. how these things any and all works with the comparison operators okay so i'll first write it down and then we will discuss well so here i have summed up all the possible combinations with operator okay so the first one is less than any salary is less than any okay what does it mean so i mean it can be salary or anything so less than any it means less than the maximum right in case of any let's say i'm saying salary is less than any of 2 3 4 something like this right now just think of i'm saying as looking for a salary which is less than any of this okay so it means that even if the salary lies between this that is also fine okay salary is less than 2 that is also fine salary is less than 4 that is also fine but salary should not be greater than 4 okay so it means that it should not be greater than maximum but should be less than maximum okay so it means it is less than maximum fine similarly when i'm saying greater than any greater than any means let's say we have salary greater than any of 2 4 6 right so in this case what are the values which is allowed so greater than this 6 is greater than all so it's allowed value lies here it is also allowed because it's greater than 4 so whatever salary i'm selecting that should be greater than any of these value right so basically the condition it it should be greater than the minimum that is 2 right we cannot accept one value right we will accept greater than something greater than the minimum so this is greater than minimum fine equal to any of the value equal to any of the value so this is what we have already learned in case of in fine so in case of in we need not to give some comparison operator equal to less than etc and it will be just compared okay it will find out if any value is equal to this fine so this equal to any is equivalent to in operator okay fine now we have to all you can notice that we are not using equal to operator with all comparison operator okay so equal to we are not using be because it's very meaningless to say that salary is equal to all of the fo following values or all of the values in the list so that is like meaningless we are not looking for a value which is equal to three four values right so that's why we are not using equal to here now let's understand what is greater than all greater than all so we can make it out very easily that i'm looking for a value which is greater than all the values in this list right so that is obviously i'm looking for a value which is greater than the maximum value fine so this is greater than maximum less than all that is i'm looking for a value which is less than all values in this list so obviously if i can find out the value which is less than the minimum value so that is true in this case right so basically we are looking for lesser than the minimum value fine so this was the whole concept around 
the comparison set comparison operators that is in any and all and we understood that this in comparison operator is actually equal to equal to any operator okay so these equal to any and in are equivalent we cannot have equal to all for the very obvious reason that we cannot compare a value with more than one value okay so yes you can try having let's say this the sub query or in this list in this list there is only one value that is 2 then in that case you can obviously try equal to all equal to all and then 2 so basically it will compare if this value whatever I'm comparing is equal to 2 or not right so this is quite meaningless fine so this was all about set comparison operator now let's do an example in the next lecture so thanks for watching if you have any doubt please ask your question in doubt section see you in the next lecture